In this video, we're going to discuss creating a project from a Facebook page. You can now create a project from a Facebook page directly in QDA Miner and monitor this project over time, collecting data and importing as necessary. It's important to note that you cannot import directly from password-protected Facebook profiles or from groups, only from open Facebook pages. To get started, select Import from Data Files or Web Services. Scroll down to Social Media and select Facebook. The dialog that appears is similar to when you create a Twitter or RSS feed project. Make sure Facebook is selected as the project source and enter the URL of the Facebook page you'd like to analyze. We're going to analyze Donald Trump's Facebook page. Set the from and until date options by selecting a start date and an end date. QDA Miner will retrieve posts that were posted during the chosen time span. This time span, however, must not exceed six months. The last possible date range is the present day. It's not possible to set this option to capture future posts. However, it is possible to capture future comments on these posts by setting the live monitoring option, which I will show you in a moment. Comments associated with the posts that fall in this date range will also be imported. Imported comments, however, may be published after the chosen date range. Check the variables that you'd like to import from the variables list box. The live monitoring option instructs QDA Miner to monitor the Facebook post published during the chosen time period and collect for import any comments associated with the posts that have been published after this initial data capture. Enabling this option calls the Web Collector, an external tool which collects your Facebook data. Let's take a quick look at the Web Collector. You can access the Web Collector through the System Tray and the Windows Start menu. When you restart your computer, the Web Collector will start automatically and continue collecting data if the query is active. Data will be collected as long as the Web Collector is running. And as the Web Collector is a completely separate application, QDA Miner does not have to be running for it to work. It's important to note that the Web Collector will not collect any new posts, only new comments associated with the posts from the chosen date range. In the first column, you have your project name, the name associated with the query. Then we have the name of the social media platform being monitored. In the expression column, you have either the URL of the RSS feed or the Facebook page you're monitoring, or the Twitter search query. The retweets column applies to Twitter, and we'll read yes or no depending on if you have chosen to include retweets when setting up your project. The status lets you know if the data is being collected. It will either read active, inactive, or searching. The number of posts collected, this will be reset to zero if posts are appended to a project. The delay is the time interval you set for your capture, the time and date of the last search, and the number of new posts captured since you last viewed the data. At the bottom of the page, you have the percentage of Twitter, Facebook, and Reddit resources that you have available. To monitor your Facebook data, select Live Monitoring, set the time delay, and the stop date. The web collector will collect comments published according to the selected time interval until the stop date is reached. This query will collect posts on Donald Trump's Facebook page posted between last week and today, and all comments on those posts going forward until tomorrow. Once you're if done, the first time select you've created okay. a Facebook project, you'll be asked to give authorization for the Provalis Research Web Collector to connect to your Facebook account. Name and save your project.
and your project opens automatically. As people may want to analyze comments or the posts themselves, it's important to take note of two variables, kind and post title. Kind tells you whether it's a post or a comment. We can see the first one is a post. The post title is the same as the post itself. If we click to another, we can see that this is a comment and the post title indicates the post that this comment was made on. You can filter for posts or comments if you want to analyze one or the other. As you've chosen to monitor the data, you can check to see if new data has been collected. Select Cases, scroll down to Append, and select Monitor External Source. The Monitor from Original Online Source, Facebook, should already be selected. See if there are any new Facebook comments that have been captured. We've captured 100 new cases. Select Yes to import them. And we can see that 100 new cases have been added to our project.